Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a fun video today. Uh, this is a product review. However, this is also a video on how I set up my Etsy store to, and the things that I needed in my Etsy store to start my small business. So first and foremost, this is Vivor is the brand and it's a thermal label printer, which is very important for me in my small business because it makes it easy and quick for me to print off shipping labels. So yes, this was sent to me, but the opinion is my own. So we're gonna take it out of the box. The great thing about a thermal printer is it doesn't require ink. So it just requires thermal paper. Think old school fax machines for those of you in my generation. So let's get, I'm gonna get this out of the box. So hang on. Okay, so what comes in the box is your machine. It's pretty low profile. You have two little plug buttons over here to open up the inside. Um, it does have a test sheet. You can see where it has ran and you get the, the bar to put your labels in. There's also labels that came with it. In here, you're gonna get this. It's a USB drive, but it has the drivers for it. For this, so you put in your computer. And if you're running a Mac, like I do, you're getting the dongle to make it a type C or if anything you're going off of is a type C. But it's also Bluetooth, so you can run this from your tele or your cell phone, which is great. I haven't done that, obviously. So you're getting your printer cable on one end and a USB, but for me, I need this to be on here because my laptop takes a type C. And then you're getting your power cord situation, your directions, and some paper. So some start off paper. Um, it's just white thermal paper. Now, if you were to take like a flat iron or something to this, it would be black. You just gotta go back to the days of the fax machine. Now, I'm gonna plug this into an outlet. Um, this is my second one. The first one I plugged into a, a power cord and it didn't like that, apparently. So, just as an FYI. But there it is, that is it. This is all the construction, if you will, that there is. Now, on the back side, we have this for the power. This is for to hook it up if you're not gonna use the Bluetooth. And then you have your on off. The circle is off, the line is on. This is heated, so you do not want to leave it turned on. Also, you can feed flat paper through the back, like this, which is what we're gonna do, right? Because I don't have, I'm not gonna put it on the spindle thing. All right, now let me get it plugged in and turned on my lap, oops, sorry. Turn on my laptop and I'm gonna show you how fast and quick this works. Um, for me especially, being able to print my own shipping labels from the Etsy shop saves me money. So I get a 30% discount by shipping through Etsy using their USPS postage and I don't have to handwrite and I don't have to waste time at the post office having them type in each address manually. This system here will print out any shipping labels. We're even going to try to print on these little dot circles. They have all different. It's all thermal paper. You can get them on Amazon very reasonable price. I think I have 3,000 of these labels and it was $9. So let me get this plugged in and get my laptop hooked up and we will do some print. All right, so we got it all plugged in and set up. Uh, this is the book that comes with it. It is step-by-step -step for Mac or uh, Windows-based printing. 
and it tells you like how to set up your printer and what to select and all of that. The main takeaway here is you have to decide what size sheet of paper the printer is using. So you hold this. You hear that beep? It's gonna push, spit it out, suck it back in. Maybe, yep. It's determining what size sheets of paper I have in here. And then we're gonna print a sample. This is just a, a sample of this. You can't see on my laptop, but I'm choosing the Vivor. And then I'm coming down here to size and you would like a four by six, right? Because that's the size I have in there and then we're gonna print it. And that is how quickly it spits it out. Look how clean and crisp that is. And it's a sticky label. I just slap it right on my package. Now this is obviously not, not real, but we're gonna try, I'm a little nervous. We're gonna try and print something that I created, right? So, here it is. We gotta change the paper. So we're gonna open this up and your different colored lights tells you what's going on. I'm gonna take these sheets out. Now you do have to have three to four sheets of paper for it to be able to read. And you have your things in here. Now, while I'm setting this up, some of the other things I needed for my shop, I needed to get some poly mailers which I ordered everything on Amazon, right? Because easy comes right to my door and you need to set up your shop. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. And then we're gonna try and see if it prints. So I got all my poly mailers from Amazon and then I bought bubble wrap at Walmart. I just thought easy peasy. So I'm going over here, I'm just selecting the Vivor. I'm coming down here and you gotta select what size you want. And mine is, these are two by two circle. Okay, now this is my first go at this so there may be some adjusting that needs to happen, but let's see. Yep, not bad though. So I need to center it a little better in my program. So I just need to move it over, but these are gonna be little thank you stickers that I can print and put them on the package. So when I mail out my planner, these are the poly bags I ordered on Amazon. In here, is, it's wrapped in bubble wrap and there's a thank you sticker. So that's what I'm designing here is the thank you sticker. But this is gonna be a game changer if you are doing any kind of um, setting up your own Etsy shop or your small business because it's just so easy. So I'm gonna do some printing, some messing around, and then I'll come back and show you what I come up with. Guys, I'm so excited. I need to show you how I print these labels. I designed them right? Because why would I want to spend more than a couple dollars on thank yous? I'm going to run 50. Just listen and watch. That's it. It's just going to go. It's going to go about its business. And then I'm going to show you because I'm dying here. And I love the colored paper and there's so many different options. Oh, so exciting. And then all you have to do is put the different paper in, tell it what's in there and make your design to fit. There's a little tweaking that has to happen. I've been using Canva and Canva has a free version. I'm dying guys. So I have two different styles for the next 100 that I send out. How exciting is that? And I can make 3,000 of these. I don't have to buy ink. I don't have 
to um, spend the money to hire a printer, yes, it's only in black. I will tell you that. You only get um, black and white. But the colored paper makes it everything. And quite frankly, in this situation, I'm just using it to hold paper together and to do a quick thank you inside. So I'm not... I'm not using it for anything of that right this second. Now, when I get my sticker books up and going, I'm gonna use them for this, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get some of that green in the four by six or probably two by two and do some little directions and logoing on the back. And again, it's an expense that I don't have to, I wasted this trial and error but it's an expense that I don't have to outlay for a bunch of materials, you know? I don't need a bunch of stuff. I just have my thermal printer. So I hope this was helpful to you. There will be a link in the description box below if you would like to get one of these um, for yourself. If you're planning on starting a small business, I think you should just go for it. 2023 is the year to do it. So let's just all do it. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.